The city of Philadelphia facing a new lawsuit over the decision to shut down its gun permit unit over coronavirus concerns. The lawsuit claims the city is infringing on residents' Second Amendment rights and, quote, treating constitutionally necessary firearm-related services as non-essential and less important than other programs and services they offer the public. Here now to discuss attorney and gun rights activist Colian Noir. Colian, thank you for being here. Good morning to you. Um, so tell us a little bit about this lawsuit, what the allegations are, and whether you think the allegations are justified. So essentially what's happening is that the city of Philadelphia is utilizing COVID as an excuse to stop the permitting process in Philadelphia. Philadelphia is not even known for having a relatively easy permitting process to begin with prior to COVID. And so now they're trying to stop it all together for a period of time because of COVID. And so what you're seeing happening is you're seeing gun advocacy groups filing lawsuits to say that you're denying people their right to own firearms, not only within their homes, but outside of their homes with respect to carrying a firearm. And so from my standpoint, I would say that the anti-gun lobby and groups have done a really good job of making people believe that the right to own a firearm and the ability to carry a firearm outside your home is a privilege instead of a right. And they've done a really good job of doing that up until this point. But I think now what's happening is you're starting to see groups stand up against that and saying, no, this is a, this is a constitutional right. And if criminals don't stop being criminals because of COVID, the government shouldn't deny people's right to carry a firearm because of COVID. Colian, we have a statement from the city of Philadelphia to Fox and Friends. This is what it says. The gun permit unit had to close temporarily due to several police department employees testing positive for COVID-19. As the court noted, when denying plaintiff's emergency injunction motion, the closure was necessary to protect the health of others in that unit or individuals visiting that office and that the city has plans to reopen the gun permit office in the very near future. So what do you say to those who say it was simply a safety mechanism? It's temporary. It'll be back. There's no politics here. Um, what do you say? I would be more inclined to agree with that if they weren't engaging in the same behavior for all of the other permitting aspects of, of, of the city as far as driver's license and so forth and so on, especially considering that there are other examples out there of other cities who are, are doing their best to mitigate the health concerns while still allowing people to become permitted with respect to the Second Amendment. And again, you're seeing this over and over again where they see this, where we see the Second Amendment being treated like a stepchild instead of the right that it is. So I'd be more inclined to believe it if there weren't already alternative measures being in place that they could utilize. But they're just choosing not to and just taking the easy route and just shutting everything down, which I think is oddly convenient for them. All right, now we have the performance mask at shop.mrcolonnoir.com. And no, these aren't the masks that suffocate you to death. You can breathe in this mask. Um, it's lightweight material, very high quality. You know, you know how I do. I'm sure the YouTube algorithm is gonna do a phenomenal job of suppressing this message. So please share this video with as many people as you can so we can beat the algorithm and get our two-way message out to the masses. Also, don't forget to like this video and leave a comment and hit the bell and subscribe button. If you're looking for where to purchase your defund gun control shirts, hats, and drinkware, there's a link in the description section of this video.